so for the exercise here we want to change the code to compute annual precipitation trend so if you see here when we are doing the total precipitation uh, you see the start date and end date we are just considering june to september so uh, the function is running on uh, all these years but what we are considering is only four months we want to consider all 12 months so that we can get the yearly trend so you will have to change your start and end date so it should start from 1st january and end date can be advanced to the start date so one year advance so you can just change this one and visualize the yearly trend